This video is the first in a series to help familiarize you with the Dot Hill Ultra 48 chassis. This video will provide an overview of the chassis and point out the location of various field replaceable units, also referred to as frues. This shows the front view of two enclosures without a bezel. In this example, the bottom enclosure is referred to as the raid head and the top enclosure is a J-BOD. These can be identified by the enclosure ID LEDs on the left side of the chassis. Zero denotes the enclosure with the RAID controllers, and one denotes the first JBOD expansion chassis. Each enclosure has three drawers, each with their own status LEDs, and on the far right are the enclosure status LEDs. Green on both indicates the unit is operating normally and within normal temperature thresholds. A full description of the status LEDs can be found in the Ultra 48 setup guide. This shows the same enclosures from the rear view of the rack. The two physical enclosures are the same and share common frues. However, the bottom enclosure contains the RAID controllers. The bottom controller is referred to as the B controller and the top is the A controller. The upper enclosure is the JBOD module and contains I.O. modules referred to as I.O.M.s. The enclosures offer redundant power supplies and up to eight 12 gig SAS hose connections. In this example, there are two host cables on the A controller and two on the B controller. To the right of the host ports are the network management ports, and on the far right are the SAS expansion ports, which connect from each RAID module to a corresponding IOM module. Note that the host ports use the high density mini SAS connectors, while the JBOT expansion ports use the mini SAS connectors. Looking again at the front side, the enclosure has three drawers, each with a thumb screw that must be loosened to open the drawer. Opening the left drawer, you will see the drives are accessed from the right side. The same is true for the center drawer. While the right drawer, the drives are accessed from the left side. This ensures the drives are always accessible in the event the rack is located adjacent to a wall. If you fully extend a drawer, you will see there are four drive bays. Each can house four drives for a total of 16 drives per drawer. In this example, the last bay is populated with a four-slot air management sled. There are also single-slot air management sleds, which are used in configurations where a single drive slot is empty. The use of air management sleds is required to ensure proper airflow for cooling purposes. Drives are housed in sleds and can be removed by pinching the blue tabs together and removing the drive. Note the orientation of the drive in the slot. The drives are mounted with the PCBA side facing up while the drive vendor label is on the bottom. Drives are considered hot swappable and the drawers are active while extended to allow for serviceability. Please refer to the Atlas Free Replacement Guide for additional considerations on replacing a disk drive. 